share the resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for the first reading and the second reading and verse and response. The first reading will be words of wisdom from the Book of Wisdom, and the second one will be from St. John in his first letter about all of us being children of God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The righteous man, though he die early, will be at rest. For old age is not honored for length of time, nor measured by number of years, but understanding is gray hair for men and a blameless life of ripe old age. There was one who pleased God and was loved by him, and while living among sinners, he was taken up. He was caught up lest evil change his understanding or guilt deceive his soul. For the fascination of wickedness obscures what is good, and roving desire perverts the innocent mind. Being perfected in a short time, he fulfilled long years, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore, he took him quickly from the midst of wickedness, yet people saw and did not understand, nor take such a thing to heart, that God's grace and mercy are with his elect, and he watches over his holy ones. This, the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your compassion. O Lord, and your merciful love, for, for they are from of old. In your merciful love, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Hear our places, O Lord, and answer our prayers. Relieve the anguish of my heart and set me free from my distress. See my loneliness and suffering, and take away all my sins. Hear your word, O Lord, and give us our peace. Preserve my life and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for in you I trust. May integrity and virtue protect me, for I have hoped in you, O Lord. Hear your word, O Lord, and grant us A reading from the first letter of St. John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. This, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly be upstanding for the Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
On arriving at Bethany, Jesus found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. Bethany is only about two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went out to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know now that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said to him, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. <coughs> Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he or she dies, they will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. What is happening here this morning is not only a family affair, but also for friends and other relatives of Adrian or Atti. Jesus was very much a family person. And that's why when Lazarus died and Jesus heard the news, he decides to go and pay sympathy to Lazarus' two sisters, Martha and Mary. And that's what you heard just now, where Lazarus <coughs> had already been four days in the tomb, and Martha and Mary were still in mourning, and yet there were crowds coming from Jerusalem, where he was well known, uh, just to sympathize with them. And so Jesus was there to sympathize with them. And this is an important point about the life of Jesus of Nazareth. He was a great family person. Even though Lazarus, Martha, and Mary were not his own family, they were family in the sense of great friends. He used to visit their home quite frequently at Bethany on his way to and from Jerusalem. And so he gets there a few days after Lazarus is buried. What you didn't hear was the conclusion to the visit in which the two sisters, Martha and Mary, lead Jesus to where he was laid to rest in the tomb. And down there, just very close by to the house, Jesus performed one of his last miracles. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Come forth, Lazarus. And he did. Walked out of his tomb. And so 
today, in this sacred season of Easter, we are celebrating now the resurrection of Jesus. After he was crucified, what you see depicted on the wall behind us here, after that he was buried, and three days later, as he predicted, he rose from the dead. And that's why we celebrate in a very special way the death of one of Jesus' followers, Adrian Atty. And in this special time of Easter, we're in the third week of Easter now, we are celebrating Atty's death. And we pray for his resurrection in the sense that he is in happiness and peace with Jesus in heaven. And that's what this gathering together is about this morning. Friends and relatives celebrating the Blessed Eucharist, Holy Mass, which after all is when we celebrate on the altar, you see there, the body and blood of Christ later on, and we partake of it. And in that way, we all share in the risen life of the Lord. And that is our joy at this time of the year. Of course, naturally for Atti's family, it's a sad period. But when I think of the way he died, I myself were brought to the house and by his daughter, and there with all the family around the bed with Atti, I anointed him as well as giving him Holy Communion for the last time, a family affair. And he gave me a lovely thank you and smile at the end when I was leaving. So <coughs> his passage, his Passover from life to death and hopefully now to eternal life with Jesus. So as we go ahead now to continue performing, if somebody has matches or uh, something to light, I will light the Paschal candle here as well as the candles at the church.
I would kindly invite you all to be upstanding as we make our prayers of the faithful. God, our almighty Father, raised his son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save us, his people, living and dead. Our brother Atty was given the promise of eternal life in baptism. Lord, give him communion with your saints forever. Lord, hear us. Atty ate the bread of eternal life, the body of Christ. Raise him up. Lord, hear us, responses, Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the friends and relatives of Ati who have gone to their rest. May they be one with him in the communion of the saints. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have died in the hope of rising again especially those who've died of this coronavirus and those who've been killed in the Ukraine. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your presence. Lord, hear us. We pray for all of us gathered here this morning. May we live each day as your children, knowing that we too are destined for life eternal. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayers for our dear brother, Adrian, and for all who have died. Forgive them their sins and bring them to the fullness of salvation through Christ our Lord. Now you can be seated when we come to the offertory and you could perhaps be singing a, a second uh, hymn led by our organist. Pray now, my dear sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God of our mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church.
standing. Thanks that you've had us worthy to be in your presence and ministry. 
Let us pray. Please be upstanding once again. Lord God, may the death and resurrection of Christ, which we celebrate in this Eucharist, bring our brother Adrian to peace and to his eternal home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seating again. And I invite a relative of Atty to come forward, the Reverend Van Royen. Dear friends, I greet you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died and was raised from the dead and now reigns supreme with the Father and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> it is indeed a privilege for me and an honor uh, to be able to say a few words on this a very special, albeit a sad, occasion. Um, Ati and I uh, grew up together in a very close-knitted uh, uh, family. And after we finished school, unfortunately, we all, uh, both of us, went our own uh, paths. Uh, but through the years, we met occasionally. And I also had the, the, the honor and the privilege uh, to officiate it at Ian Isles' uh, a marriage about 50 years ago. So I think that was a good marriage because it lasted all these years. And uh, I remember Ati as a person with a very dry humor. He would, didn't speak much. Uh, I think he spoke a lot before he got married, and then after that he had to keep quiet. Um, but he would, you know, he would make, uh, he would be able to uh, to look at things and op make uh, remarks and observations uh, in his own way. <coughs> but I think uh, one thing I'd be remember about Ati is the fact that he did everything he could to keep the family ties strong. I remember that he would, uh, you know, cross the country uh, every holiday, end of the year holidays, uh, just to be with family and friends. So we will remember him for that and we will miss, miss him in, in future family gatherings. Now, I wanted to say something about um, the raising of Lazarus, but unfortunately, Father uh, already uh, spoke on that. Uh, but I just want to focus on a, a word that, that John wrote in that gospel. He said, after Jesus came, he wrote there that Jesus wept. Jesus came to a family that was in mourning and he was overwhelmed by the grief of that family. And so he wept. And for me that means a word of comfort for the grieving family and you, the friends. It's assured us that we are not alone that in our sorrow, in our agonizing questions, that Christ is there with us. He associated himself with that family in Bethany, 
And so we know that today also he will be with us. And it is the same Christ who gave us the assurance that we should not uh, be uh, mourning, we should not be uh, uncomfortable about what is happening. He is inviting us to put our trust in him. And I'm also sure that he is saying to us today that Ati is with him and everything is okay. I want to continue by reading a tribute by Sandra, the youngest uh, sister of Ati. Uh, we've dispensed with the normal tributes and you will find in your leaflet that there are written tributes uh, from Ati's brothers. But this one came from Sandra and I'm just going to read it as it is here on the page. Uh, it starts, your dad was always there for me as a brother and a fun person to be around when I was growing up. I'll always remember him, uh, how he listened to, to me and he cared for everyone in the family. I'll miss him too. I'll always remember your dad as a very caring relative. He loved so many people and brought out the best in everyone. I'll miss him so much. Your father was so proud of you and he loved you so much. I hope this comforts you as you deal with, with his loss. I always admire your dad's ability to get people to warm up to him. Uh, he touched so many lives, and I'm sure that you are proud of his memory. And then there follows a verse, that you were my brother, and I loved you like no other. In my heart, you'll always be. You'll be my guide and help me to see. I'll never forget your soothing voice. I would take your place I would take your place if I had a choice but now I have to let you rest although without you my world's a mess I miss you with all my heart and I wish we never had to part I know you're always by my side so now I guess this is my goodbye rest in peace my beloved brother and the rest of the task that was given to me was to uh, just to convey a vote of thanks and uh, all has been written down so I'll just uh, continue to read that. Uh, the first person and obviously there were many people involved in Ati's life and especially uh, towards the end. Uh, it is impossible obviously to name everyone but here are a few uh, people who have been specially named in this list. The first one is Gloria, Sister Gloria. Words cannot express our gratitude for you. You were a pillar of strength for us during the final weeks. Uh, when he was and he was extremely fond of you and you made his suffering bearable. We shall be eternally grateful for you and what you have done for Ati. You are truly amazing and a wonderful person. You are now part of the family and we cannot thank you enough for the kindness, the love and the patience that you gave to Ati uh, in his final days. And then also to Dr. Nozisa Matsalisa, um, like Gloria, words cannot express our gratitude uh, for you and all that you have done to ensure that he is as comfortable as possible with the, with the least amount of pain. Even on your holiday, you took our calls and for that we cannot thank you enough. Your patients are blessed uh, to have you 
is their doctor. And then thirdly, uh, to Obut and Boca, um, obviously you know those are just nicknames, uh, I being Obut and uh, Boca sitting here in front. Um, Ati loved you both dearly and your presence today is greatly appreciated by us all and will certainly uh, made him so happy. Thank you so much for making the effort of being here with us on this very sad day and having you here with us makes it extra special. And then to Uncle Harun and family, a big thank you to you all. We cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done for Ati all these years and especially the last year of his life. He loved you all dearly and every visit, call and message meant the world to him. We could see the joy on his face after these encounters and he treasured every one of them. Thank you so much for all the love and the support we truly appreciate everything that you have done uh, for us. <clears throat> and Uncle Fritz and family, also a big thank you uh, from us all to you and your family for making effort to travel from Jeffrey's uh, Bay to come to Atis to Ati so often as you could. He was a family man and he loved every family gathering. And your visits, calls and messages were highlights of his day. He loved you dearly and thank you for being a wonderful brother to him. And then also to Uncle Gert, it is very sad for us that you that even, and even more so we believe, for you that you cannot be here in person today uh, to say farewell uh, to your kind and caring and lovely, lovely, loving brother. He loved you dearly and would have loved to see you more than what he did during his final weeks. But your calls and messages meant the world to him. And all we ask of you is to focus on your health and to look after yourself. We know this is a difficult time for you and know that Atman loved and cared for you dearly or deeply. And then to Sissa and Charlene and Russell and the whole of the Namibia family, in the last few years, your connection with Ati grew even more uh, close and special. Your trips to come visit him made him so happy and during the last few visits, it gave him the strength uh, to fight even more for, all, for us all. Your love for him uh, will be forever treasured by us all. And then to Rudy and Christine, we cannot thank you enough for all the love and the support that you both have, have given us this last week and taking such good care of us and all, all the visitors that came there. And then uh, family, friends and colleagues, a big thanks to all the family, all the friends and colleagues who supported uh, from a distance and who under various circumstances um, just could not come uh, to visit Ati during this period. He cherished and appreciated every message and every call and he only had love for you all. Ati was a very blessed man 
to have you all in his life. And then to Uncle Eli Goliath, Ati was a blessed man to have a friend like you. It is rare to have friendship that spans over uh, four decades. And you support and visit, your support and visits were very special to him. And it really meant the world to him when you came to visit and to keep him company. Ati was a very proud man and your visits gave him the opportunity uh, to talk about things that he did not want to talk with his family. And not once did he complain. And he always put on a brave face, even, even though we all could see how terribly he was suffering. And we are very grateful that you could be there uh, to console him and enduring the tough times to be there for him and to be near to be near him most of the time a big thank you to you and your family and to Gerald's second mother brothers their partners and their families uh, auntie uh, Wimla, Vivian and Viana, Sherwin and Asha, and the whole uh, Natasha family, you have been such a pillar of strength and support since the day that we found out that Ati was diagnosed with cancer. Your love and support have been instrumental to Gerald coping all the times, even more so now. And your love and support to the Strauss family is greatly appreciated. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, for, your, for your generosity and all the love. And you are considered family and we are so blessed uh, to have you in our lives. A big thank you to you all. And then Oroko and Komia, Bronwyn and A.B., what would we have done without all of you? When Gerald had to be away during Artie's sickness, we could always count on you. You were the extension of Gerald during this period to ensure that Ati gets to his doctor's appointments uh, for treatment and when he urgently needed medication or supplies that we could not find uh, close to home. Thank you for this and you have no idea how much this meant to Ati and to us and we will be forever grateful and we will appreciate everything uh, that have been done to us. And then uh, lastly, to the Avbop team, a sincere thanks uh, from the Strauss family for the professional service that we have received throughout this whole process. Friends, that's the end of uh, the vote of thanks. And uh, as I said earlier, we can't mention everybody's name. I already had to read through three pages, but uh, we appreciate everything uh, that everyone has done to the family and for the family. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. And now I would ask you all once again to please be upstanding for our final farewell and commendation to Atti. Thank you.